motion and a second. Any questions or discussion? Ms. Brown, uh, will you read that motion, please? Ms. Lane, the motion is to accept the Board of Council of the District's budget as presented. Thank you. Hearing no questions or discussion, Ms. Brown, you may call the roll. Ms. Ashwell? Yes. Ms. Hunt? Yes. Ms. Lashwell? Yes. Mr. Rashwell? Yes. Ms. Roberts? Yes. Motion yes. here. Increase expenditure accounts 
0150815860, Building Maintenance Repair, 28,169, 0192000990, Reserve, 476-442, 0261054050, Asphalt, 68,511, 0392009990, Reserve, 152,407, 0751364460, Federal Grant Homeland Security, 52,018. Section, section 2, the amount suggesting the receipt and expenditure accounts in Section 1 are for governmental purposes. Approved by the Fiscal Court of Bullock County, Kentucky, this day, the fourth day of February 2014. Thank you, Deputy Judge. Jay, what are 
Okay, I said the seven month partners contract. Um, that is the health services inside of the agency center. That's the original. I had sent it up to the county attorney's office. Um, Ms. Baker had looked at it. Um, and she said that it looked, it looked fine. There is a raise in our, our cost pool from, uh, it went up $10,000. And the reason of that is because our ADP rates went up. We went from, we need to go from 230 to 260. Because we have um, 230, we always cap that out every day. And when we cap that out every day on inmates, it costs us 92 cents per inmate per day, which runs in the overage. So that's why we're needing to increase our ADP to 260 instead of 230. Uh, right now, today, we're running at 257. And that usually there are a little bit better. But we need to at least go by our averages at least 260 in order to keep them going over that overage. Because that overage racks up quickly. Um, and the reason we went up on our cost tool from 40 to 50,000 is because of the type of clients that we're having is once we run out of that cost pool, we're running into more money. Also, Southern Health Partners is also the company that um, helps us get those state uh, tax five yearly. I think last year we got three. Um, we had one client that was in the hospital for two weeks, and he had heart surgery. He had actually ended up passing away there. But we paid a very little of that as a county. That's one like um, fourteen hundred dollars, a thousand dollars is still to be not compared to somebody being there for two solid weeks. Um, so they do help us quite a bit on saving. So I would like to see if we can get this signed. So because we're already out, our contract's already ended. So they're kind of really working with us now. So if we can get this signed, have the judge sign it, I'll be thankful. And can you turn to you while I look over this? Yeah, it, she's absolutely correct. It's a very good idea to increase this to cover 20 and make because it costs us less money in the long run. Okay. So I just need permission to sign. I need permission to sign this so we can enter into this. Does that sound correct? I'll make a motion to authorize the county judge to sign this contract with Southern Health Partners. No, sir. Thank you, Manager Spritz. We have a motion and a second. Any questions or discussion? And uh, Ms. Brandon, will you read the motion, please? Yes. The motion is to authorize the judge to sign and enter into the contract with Southern Health Partners and Health Services at the decision. And now we can call them. Ms. Ashfall? Yes. Mr. Hunt? Yes. Mr. Laswell? Yes. Mr. Bradshaw? Yes. Mr. Roberts? Yes. Motion here. Thank you. Thank you. That's all I have. Thank you. Thank you, Jalen Knox. Have a good afternoon. Thank you. Okay, Magistrates. We are still on new business on the agenda. Uh, number 10. Action is requested on payroll documents to ensure interest rates will not change. And I believe the deputy judge has information about this. Do you have any questions? Thank you. 
I'll second that. Thank you, Master. We have a motion and a second. Any questions or discussion? And Ms. Brandon, please read the motion. The motion is to authorize the judge to sign the appropriate documents with Kate Hodge of all in the district. Then we make all the law. Ms. Ashcroft? Yes. Mr. Hunter? Yes. Mr. Lashmo? Yes. Mr. Rashmo? Yes. Mr. Robert? Yes. Mr. Robert? Yes. Yes.
action requested on PayPal documents.
that he was asking in public forum. That's circumventing the Open Meetings Act. Okay? And I don't think that was your intent. I think you're trying to regulate time. I get that. But we have, if you're going to respond, you need to respond right here. Um, another thing, the second thing is, yes, early on we corrected the word forensic where that's the word we use in court. Um, and what I think Mr. Kimmer had asked was, do you have certain issues, areas you think that probably should be looked at, and to focus just on following on those issues. I did submit you all this of areas I thought might be good idea to look at. Um, I was participating in the meeting though, so I don't know why you all determined not to do that. There may be a very logical, good reason for it. I, I don't know, but I think that's what uh, Mike's asking. But the, he's asked publicly, so it has to, you need to, it has to be addressed. Here. Thank you, County Attorney. With that said, then we will proceed on with timing, and um, we'll let this court answer a comment if you so choose. And then we'll give Mr. Higgins a minute to rebut. Okay. If my memory serves me correctly, I voted against the forensic audit when it was up for a vote several months ago. I did not think it was necessary then. After meeting with Mr. Keemer, he gave us a couple of issues to monitor, keep an eye on. And we are doing that. So I feel like we are addressing the issue. We didn't just blow it off and walk away from it. Um, maybe our communications to you has not been as good as it should have been. I apologize for that. Um, but we did meet with the advisor. He told us that he didn't think that it was necessary to do a full-blown audit just directed us to monitor certain items, uh, gave us some tips on how to flag things, and, and we have been doing that. Uh, so in order to resolve this issue, uh, that's why I made the motion to rescind that motion so that we can move on. You know, and if any issues come up in the future, we'll be glad to address them. start business and then just leave it hang. Now, you're right, sir, you, you were against the audit from the beginning, but the gentleman was here that evening, and Ms. Robinson pointed out, that, and he pointed out, that yes, a forensic audit, as you say, takes a lot of time and, and a lot of uh, very fine auditing, which isn't necessary, and that he would get with you guys and show you how to do it in a less expensive way. Now you say that you've done that, and not only did he tell you not to do it in a less expensive way, you all were in agreement that you don't even need it. And he showed you some items and some issues to watch, and you have since been monitoring them. So would you mind sharing with us what are the issues and the items? Mr. Higgins, your time is up. And who's watching them? Thank you. And court members, you may choose to comment, or you may stay silent. We do have a motion on the floor that we wish to vote on. I'll call the question. Okay. Uh, that means that we will take a vote. So, Ms. Branham, please call the roll. Ms. Ashmore? Yes. Mr. Hunt? Yes. Mr. Lasso? Yes. Mr. Bradshaw? 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 Yes. I have no other business. Do, does anyone on the court have any other business to bring them before this body? Um, several months ago, to my 
summer, it was probably last summer sometime, uh, we were discussing the financial disclosure statements of various, uh, it's required to file every year. And I questioned a few statements in the, certain, the current ordinance for that requirement to file those special financial statements. Um, after studying that issue uh, and thinking it over, I have decided not to oppose the wording that is in the ordinance at this time. And uh, so at that time, I think we suspended the ordinance or suspended the enforcement. I think that was the word. So I would request that that ordinance be put back into effect regarding the suspension as it's recorded. Of the enforcement. 
the ethics ordinance. This was an ordinance, wasn't it? Law. 
Well, what happened is uh, the clerk mails those out in June of every year for us to all file by June 30th, and not just us, but anybody that's elected, okay? And the problem with that is some of them got mailed out with the old form and some of them got mailed out with the new form because somewhere in a copier, the new form didn't get copied. It got left off somewhere, okay? And within two days of it being mailed out, clerk money picked that up and informed everybody in call. Um, by the time it was brought here is when I think Magistrate Bradshaw realized that there was such a difference between the two forms and he was concerned and wanted to time to talk to people in the General Assembly to see how you go about trying to change something like that because that's really what's dictating that to us. But nonetheless, all the forms have been filed in this county. The only, the, just Magistrate Bradshaw waited and I believe that the coroner may have refiled his this past week, may have been yesterday or day before because his copy was lost. Um, but he has a he has a copy to show he took it over, but I don't know, I don't know what happened to it. But it's everybody's in compliance, there's nothing missing. And I think that's what started the whole thing. It was just the first year that there was a new form. And that's what started the <laughs> started the whole situation. We have a motion, thank you, Penny Attorney. We have a motion and a second on the floor. For the record, I want to say I still don't understand why there was a suspension on the enforcement of the ethics ordinance. And that's my final statement. Mr. President, let me write that if you want. Thank you. We do have a motion and a second on the floor. And right to your hand. And I do not understand why there was a suspension on this enforcement. Yes. Mr. Hudson? 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 Yes. Mr.